2018 has been a huge year for Linux and open source. Some headlines were wonderful. Many others deserved a raised eyebrow, or maybe even two. Free and open source has been a passion of mine for over a decade, and it's been amazing to witness such a transformative year for our community. Distros has made changes, politics have been intrusive, and big money interests have made plays to insert themselves into our world. There have been some great games released for Linux, both large and small, and major players have introduced technology that has the potential to disrupt the entire PC gaming industry, while others have made moves that could topple giants or also burst bubbles. This year, I've placed a bigger emphasis on hardware. I've reviewed more hardware, built a new PC, and talked about how I produce my channel. I've also included much more news, open source gaming and technology news, as a result, Raven and I launched the podcast, Off Topical, as a means to get away from YouTube and talk about some of the big headlines and issues surrounding our community. It's been amazing to see the reception. We've done 17 episodes so far, and we plan to do many more. But the greater variety of content on the channel roused a not insignificant amount of flack from some. I'm not going to make excuses. It was a decision that I made for the channel, and I didn't come to it lightly. I've been dealing with health issues throughout 2018, making playing games difficult to begin with. But reviews of games that I want to play simply don't garner the level of attention as more topical headlines might, while also requiring three to five times the amount of work. I'm trying to get into a routine of streaming games on twitch.tv slash Zondak if you're interested in my hot takes. You can hang out with me over there. I even sometimes have Raven join me too. I'm not giving up on gaming on the channel, not in the least. Uh, it's still a huge passion of mine. Something like 63% of the videos I've put on the channel over the last three months have been gaming related, though not the review type content I started the channel with. I do want to review games, but at this point it's a matter of economics. Reviews of big releases like Artifact and Tomb Raider are sadly what most people want to watch, and those really aren't the kind of game I want to play. 2018 has been an amazing year full of awesome people. I met Wendell from Level 1 Techs, who helped me build Dargo, my gaming PC. He's a great guy and I hope to meet up with him again soon. I've also guested on friends shows and had friends participate in the Linux Game Jam with me. And by the way, the next one's coming up April 2019. Find a link in the description for details. We also launched the Heavy Element Forums, which is where we have fun and chat about all kinds of different things. In 2018, the channel saw nearly 5 million minutes watched. That's about 9 years, by the way. For comparison, in 2017, we had 2 million minutes watched. We also gained 13,000 subscribers, compared to 9,000 in 2017. And the number of folks pledging over on Patreon has more than doubled. I want to thank you all for your support, whether it's hitting that like button, leaving a comment, following me on Twitch, sending an email, subscribing to the podcast, or becoming a patron. I especially want to thank Nima Panahi, Web Freak, Glenn Steen, and Will Taylor for their singularity level pledges. Thank you guys, you're awesome. I also have put my videos on LBRY and BitChute this year, trying to make my videos more accessible to folks who understandably don't like Google. All in all, 2018 has been a blazingly fast year full of ups and downs. I've made many changes, launched new projects, and even went part-time at my day job in order to make the Linux gamer into something worthy of the pride that I feel. I've had so much fun this year, despite all the adversity, and I love challenging myself. Make sure you check out my favorite videos of 2018 playlist, and thank you so much for your support. Here's to 2019 being the year of fun.